identified. Losing all Hello and welcome to the 15th episode of the MOAV project and today as you can probably tell by the intro and the theatre mode loadout here I've got something rather special for this halfway house episode and what it is in fact is back to back moabs in back to back games so you're probably thinking how do I know that's true well as you can see I've left in at the beginning the uh, theatre mode where I go through and select my games for I record them because I record all mine from theatre mode I don't like having the uh, PVR on, all, PVR on all the time and as you've just seen there I uh, feigned in, in and out into parts of the game so I'm just going to be showing you streaks otherwise this gameplay would have been about 20 minutes long which for me probably I wouldn't want to sit through that and I kind of respect that you guys probably won't be wanting to uh, sit through that either so I'm trying to you know keep it nice and entertaining and start to uh, kick this off in fact um, it's something a bit different. I've got an MP5 silence, no uh, rapid fire or two attachments or anything. I just started using this gun, so I decided to whack specialist on as I get the specialist bonus there. So that's all good in the hood. Um, but yeah, so I've put that on, and it's a pretty pacey mob as well. It's um, on the map dome again. I know I did dome last time where I got, oh, well, a couple of episodes ago where I got absolutely wall banged and it was a bit disgusting, but you couldn't really do much about that, could I? bit of a wall hack I think but you know sometimes it doesn't go your way where in fact in this game it did go my way as you can see here dome is probably one of the easiest maps to spawn trap on unfortunately I was playing solo here so I didn't have any teammates to help me with call out something so it was kinda of luck of the draw when I went round to check the two exits whether or not um, there was going to be someone there waiting to uh, kinda of take me out but Fortunately, I got lucky for 24 gun kills in a row. So that's all good. I didn't see me proning out like a sneaky ninja. But where I'm here behind this car, I know it's a little bit of a head glitch, but in fact, if you're holding A and C, oh, we've just lost A, but if you have control of A and C on this map, uh, it's a very easy spawn trap to control because they're going to be forced to spawn into the warehouse where I'm going into now, so I've just gone over that claymore. At least forced to spawn in here at B so they'll either be able to go out of this door here out of the garage uh, to uh, push down A side as you can see my teammates recaptured A for unfortunate reasons see um, or they'll have to go out the other way One, another bit of advice as you can see I uh, kind of sat there for a little bit if you sit in the corner there obviously do not camp there for the whole game but if you're on a streak like I am and you because going around that corner can sometimes be detrimental because people can head glitch right at the back and they spawn in there so they normally go out to the side and then will head glitch down the uh, corridor in order to take you out so it's probably a bit more um, intelligent to sit there for a, a little little while um, get one or two kills if I was you and then move because otherwise the enemy would be aware that you're still there but anyway you see I'm pushing back over here stopping the uh, flow of enemies out the front and I am going to be lucky enough you can see there pick up the three minute it's less than three minute Moab which is quicker than my ACR two ones I've uploaded so it's kind of a double whammy this so I'm giving you a like two minute fifty Moab with an MP5 which is a very very underrated and underused gun and then I'm going to be following up with a standard ACR gameplay back to back game so I think this was quite impressive and I kind of wanted to do it as something a bit special for the 15th episode because we're halfway there already as I get taken out there but as you can see I'm going back into the theatre mode lobby kind of showing you that they are the back to back games that was the one I just showed you on Dome now I'm going to be jumping into the one on Mission and what I've got here I've got my uh, favourite ACR class again which I know some people are like what are you doing this is so easy mode well it is it's quite good it's not that easy obviously you've got to get 24 gun kills in a row and anything I find is I mean, what I've done there I've faded out to uh, the streak so you don't have to sit through it again um, what I find is you know if you're going for these high kill streaks don't really try and hinder yourself unless you're like some beast that can use ridiculous guns with you know hybrid sights and 
rapid fire and not getting recoiled or something ridiculous like that. And don't hinder yourself, especially if you're going for your first ever Moab. What you want to be doing is giving yourself the best possible chance that you can have. So, well, talking about ridiculous guns, there we go. I've got the PM9 as my secondary, which I did in fact pick up, but as you can see, intelligently I'll put it down and pre firing as well. You want to do, I find when I'm at the connection at university, I don't really need to do it that much because I full host the majority of the time, but a lot of the games you've seen are ones from where I'm at home to pick up a specialist. Pretty, it's pretty fast specialist. Unfortunately, I didn't get the traffic. You can see me there being complete objective there, capping the flag while on the specialist. You know, MLG pros there. Actually, I'm joking. But um, yeah, as I'm saying, um, with my connection at home, it's not very good it like some of the bullets don't really register so I find if I know someone's and core if I've been in a previous gunfight with them if you pre fire around the corner then like the bullets which would take like a second to realise they're being firing will hit the enemy as they come around the corner and it's you know that can be a bit frustrated when you're killed by it but you know it works so that's what I'm gonna say is if, if you are struggling to get your first one then that is probably the best tactic which you can do to uh, give yourself the best opportunity. Once again, I, I know the spawns in this map, unfortunately we're losing B at this point in the gameplay, but if your team has A and B, um, that's quite a nice place to spawn trap at C. Unfortunately they're able to go down the other side and through the middle here, so it's not as um, lucrative as the dome spawn trap one is. However, it does work very well. Um, I would kind of suggest on this map though, A is a lot easier to spawn trap because they've only really got two or three routes out, whereas they've got about four here with, if you take into account the ones down the middle. So, yeah, but you know, I can tell they're going to be spawning at C, so I'm playing it, I'm not really playing it safe, I'm in their spawn, but I'm just making sure I don't push too far into their spawn or stare into their spawn points in order to force a spawn swap, which therefore would probably kind of affect my gameplay, meaning. I don't know where they're going to be and it's going to make them mow up very very long and you know, I appreciate some people when you are when you're on a bit of a streak and you kind of know you're going for it you get a bit so I get really lucky there with the uh, frag and the shotgun that came flying at me but I appreciate you kind of get your heart racing I used to have that when I was dropping my first couple and you're like start getting really clammy and sweaty hands but you know, you've just got to try and play it safe and cool and not really push too much obviously what I like doing is spawn trapping and that's probably the most aggressive form of gameplay so it can have its very very lucrative um, you know payoffs when I get really quite fast moabs with the 2 minute 50 one with an mp5 which you kinda don't really expect but it was pretty good overall and I think uh, I was unlucky not to double moab any of these games because as you can see on the score limit, I, both, I dropped both the Moabs before the uh, halfway point in these domination games, so I was a bit disappointed. I'm still working on getting that um, double MOAB for you guys, but uh, as I said, I can't promise anything. It will probably be with the ACR Science Extended Mags, because that's the gun I'm most familiar with and find really quite easy to use. The Extended Mags do come in handy when you're coming up against multiple enemies and someone gets taken on dead man's hand. And there we go, there's the MOAB. Another pretty pretty fast one, not slow by any stretch of the imagination. You see Blast Shield saves, uh, saves me an absolute treat there, but obviously I didn't see that guy spawn there on the way out. And luckily I'll pick up the six man, I think it is multi-kill with the uh, slow portable radar throw. So if you have enjoyed episode 15 of the MOAB project, the uh, back to back maps, please leave a like, maybe a favourite and especially a comment and share the videos with uh, other people around YouTube, I would really appreciate that and I'll see you guys tomorrow for episode 16.